Hey, yo, it's Squid. I'll come back over to the Tactics Talk. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and welcome back on this episode. I am in my 430 version 2 and a 357 middle tier on Himmel's Door, spawned into the south. And this one's called When They Give You an Opening. When They Give You an Opening. You're always looking for that opportunity to push hard and pry something open if they give you an opening to exploit that, if at all possible. So I'm going to come around here. Like I've said before, I like to be up here first. I have a decent amount of people coming with me, but not, not as many as I would necessarily like. This is an okay side scraper, especially against some of the lower caliber guns. Doesn't do too bad. I end up missing that guy right there. Got a leopard in him, and I'm thinking, all right, wait a minute. This does not make a lot of sense. I'm expecting more help, so there we go. That's what I sort of expected pretty soon, a bigger kid to finally trundle up there. That's one thing you got to watch on your timing is be careful about being a fast tank and getting somewhere and thinking that, hey, there's no one up here. And you think your opening's then, right? You're like, oh, yeah, I can jump on these guys. i got a lot of friends. Let's jump on them now. Next thing you know, two or three heavies finally trundle or TDs finally trundle up and over that hill. And it is not the opening you were looking for. <laughs> T-30's still poking. Try a shot on him to keep him busy. But we have a real big overmatch here. I've got a couple guys that went down low. T-30 takes a hit. That usually dissuades him from getting too crazy. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's it. There's no other guys coming up and over. And there's only the Bat Chat and the Leopard. And what else? A WZ over here. So that's the opening. Let's get in here. We'll just finish him off. Come in here. Just get in between these guys. Use the front armor as best I can. Just auto-aim the Leopard. Get a little ram damage. Here comes my friends. Take that dude down. He misses. Actually hits and bounces off my turret. And finally my friends come around and help me do this. So there you go. And that is the opening you're looking for. T-30 took a hit. He's backing off. He's on a reload. I know we've got a big overmatch. If somebody gets moving down here, we can go ahead and take this guy out. I know he's dealing on a reload. He's got a long reload. So I'm just going to go ahead and go blip. Take him down. And then we got the Cairn coming around the corner. Mod 1 goes after him. That's the opening. Push. And you just keep looking for those opportunities. When when can I push forward? When can I get up under their gun? When can I get closer to get shots? There you go, T-34 shot. So I can use that opportunity to move forward. Now I need to be careful because I don't have a lot of help right now. Some of my friends did not come with me. The Mod 1's going around the other way. There's a T-10 over there, so that's a problem. So right now is not the time to go charging in on the T-34, but he just fired, so now is the time. And I do a mental countdown in my head. If I forget about it or I don't start for a while, I usually start at like 2 or 3, and then I'm just 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. I know he's about a 12-second reload, give or take, and that just lets me know if I actually have time to get in there and get a shot. I'm looking for that opening right there. He takes that shot. Thank you very much. I'll come on in here, put a shot on there. There we go. Try to push in there and make sure he's just shooting at my turret. Get a shot on him. Wiggle around a little bit. There we go. Make him bounce again. I know I'm going to out-reload him, and down he goes. Oh, geez. T-10 takes a shot at me. Got a back up here. All right, should get a shot before he reloads, but he gets back around, hold down, so that's okay, and down he goes. So now I know I can go forward, right? Looking for the opening. Once he's gone, I can immediately move to this IS-7. That was my plan anyway. I wanted to get to the IS-7, so didn't recognize the T-10 was there. Ideally, I would have because he was on the minimap. Sometimes you just don't see everything you're looking for, but once I realize he's there, back up, get out of there. Once he's dead, hey, right back to what I was doing. Foch, no real reason to just drive around the corner. He takes a shot, so that's one of the shots. And I ended up tracking him right there. And I'm thinking, oh, he doesn't have a repair kit. Or he's just happy to look. Maybe he did repair it, but now he's tracked again. So he was pointing down at the T-34 that he killed. And I'm able to come around here, and I am inside his repair loop. I reload faster than he can get his repair done. Keeping him tracked, getting all kinds of... At least I think I'm getting the assist. Am I getting the assist? Don't know. I have seven takes them down. I guess I am getting the assist. There you go. And they are done. Looking for the openings. Exploiting the little openings tactically around the fight that you're in. For example, when I noticed there just weren't that many, I had waited for a while. 
The T-30 is a pretty slow tank. It didn't look like anyone else was coming. Counting noses on the rest of the map, you go, you know what? They don't have anything. Let's push in there and be the aggressive guy. Help my team drag along behind me. We'll clean these guys up and we can move on. Or if it's strategic, taking a look at the whole map. When does my flank need to be exploited? When do I need to go back? Should I push forward? In the case of today, I did push forward as opposed to going back to the cap because there was still a scrum going on in Tank Alley. And I figured, hey, if we can get up behind these guys right here, relieve some of the pressure of our guys in Tank Alley, we can now get shots in their back. So look for those openings, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support of the channel as always, and we will see you.